Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. Great article from Mike over at Light Reading. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. So yesterday during T-Mobile's earnings call, they kept discussing and reverting back to using AI to guide its 5G expansion. So yes, I I, I get it. You got you got to. You got to get with the times. Technology is moving forward. AI is playing a bigger role, and, and T-Mobile is using advantage of that. So T-Mobile officials said they're putting billions of data points into an algorithmic AI mythology in order to guide the company's 5G upgrades. So it's they're really just using a computer system that's telling them where where they need to deploy additional spectrum, additional sites because of low RSRP. Um, you know, it, it, it tells them, hey, there's the, there might be some congestion in a couple of months. You need to, you need to get, you know, you need to get some more bandwidth on air. That's, that's all that AI system is doing. The issue that I have with, with the whole AI situation is the expansion part. Yes, you have thousands of data points in in an area like new york city chicago el paso where you have high market share and even if you don't have high market share you have enough market share to pull those data points you know your customers more than likely have been in all these areas and you can see where you have weak service but i think where the traditional build out still has to come into play is in the rural environment where you don't have a lot of market share if any at all or if you don't have no coverage at all how can ai tell you where to deploy if you have no coverage or no data points so that that would be a concern as it pertains to ai is what if there are no data points if ai can't see any data points it doesn't know anything's there it can't tell you anything so that's where i think they still have to take the traditional approach and they have to you know send engineers and they have to pre-plan and all that to, to get more coverage into more places but i think the technology is fine in the top 100 markets i think there's enough data points that that where they can pinpoint hey we do we do have uh we do have a slowdown in the next 12 to 18 months or we we do need some service uh some additional densification here because of lower rsrp which is giving our customers a worse experience so i think from that perspective ai is going to work tremendously and i think that's the that's the right appro approach for further cost savings and and everything else so just wanted to share that with you guys. It's a great article. Um, lots of info in the uh, below, so you guys can uh, can check it out. They have thousands and thousands of uh, projects currently planned under this AI, and I'm sure there'll be thousands more to come as we move forward through 5G. So stay tuned for more. See y'all in the next one. Peace.